Well, hello. I'm Mama Jean's husband, and this is... Mama Jean. And uh, it's a good morning from uh, Norwegian Dawn, and uh, we are going to tell you about our adventures yesterday in the city of Durban um, in South Africa. So if that interests you, watch on. So yesterday we were in Durban. Durban, yeah. Yeah, now, um, l nice little cruise port. Um, Quite a big cruise port. Quite yeah. a cruise port. The actual yeah. building. Yeah. yeah, and cruise terminal as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, unusually, yesterday, uh, normally for cruise excursions, we'd be meeting in the theatre on Norwegian Dawn, but yesterday we uh, went had to get off the ship ourselves. And so normally, on many other cruise trips, uh, ships, you uh, meet in a set area, and all the different tours have a different number. And so you're waiting for your number to be called. And what happens then is you go forward and you're given a sticker with a, with a number on, which says which coach you're going on. So that's how it usually works. So in one building, there's lots of different tours, but you're all together and you can be sorted out there. Now here in Durban, because we actually had to walk out of the terminal, um, it was all a little bit, uh, where am I, who do I go to? And you had to look for a man with a clipboard. So it was a little bit uh, different. It was hard to find. It was hard to find, but you, so you need your wits about you or you're gonna miss your trip, mm. okay? Simple as that. Because we suddenly discovered, we didn't hear any announcement. No, there and were we no suddenly saw uh, we were the only number 16s yes, left. Yeah. Everybody yeah. else was on the course. Yeah, so you've got to be a bit sharp. Don't stand chatting and, and taking idling pictures around. and idling around because you'll miss it. Because they don't check off who's missing. Um, you know, so it's as simple as that. So just a top tip. Top tip. <laughs> top tip, yeah. But, carry on. So, um, like we said, nice cruise terminal, onto the bus, and then away we went, didn't yeah. we? Lovely Through bus. Through Durban. Lovely bus, air conditioned, very nice. Through Durban. Now Durban, bit of a mixed bag. Mm. Um, quite a, a modern looking city, but with loads of what looked like car boots going on all yeah. over the place it looked to me as if people were coming into the city to sell their wares and just setting up yeah. in various parts yeah. around uh, the city um, we did have some warnings about you know not wandering through Durban mm. on our own and that came from the South African authorities uh, uh, they would advised the ship uh, to be very very careful when we were wandering in Durban if you will. We were on a, on a, uh, we weren't in Durban for long and uh, we were on a cruise excursion and we were going to a, a, a bit like a cultural park really, they call themselves a safari park, mm. we were going to Plezulu. <laughs> trip didn't we yeah. um, and uh, it was quite green and then when we arrived there we had quite a cultural experience didn't we? We did now it's called something safari park or whatever and that's a bit of a misnomer for us British if we are British um, because we think of a safari park as somewhere in a jungle or at least forest where you see lots of animals no that's not what this is this is a, a different place and you um, now they may take you on so far, I don't know, do they, I don't know. Uh, but what we went to see was this Zulu um, cultural um, place where we saw people dressed in their Zulu type costumes and each dance was explained before they did it, what they were doing. It was very good because sometimes you go to these cultural dancers and to be honest, they're not good. No, we've seen some right We have seen some real left ones. But, uh, that wasn't the case here. It was absolutely excellent. Uh, we then 
went into a beautiful gift shop. There was no pressure to buy anything. In fact, when I actually asked, uh, can we buy things in here now? And uh, the tour guide said, if you choose to, you are welcome, kind of thing. There was no pressure. And we walked through that to get to a lovely terraced area. And guess what they were serving? Scones or scones with jam and cream. How strange is that? They were nice as well. They were lovely. Uh, tea, coffee, water. I had a uh, nice cup of tea. Yeah, I had a nice cup of coffee. With the most amazing view. The view was spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that was lovely. And then off we went. Tell them what we saw. Well, we saw crocodiles. We saw lots of crocodiles. Lots of from little crocodiles to medium size. Big. One year old. One, they were year, one old. year old. To medium size crocodiles, to big crocodiles, to old crocodiles, and naughty crocodiles. Yes. They had a naughty crocodile <laughs> there. How about that, boys and girls? <laughs> hey, but what did you call it? The this is the um, oh I can't think of the word now. <laughs> this is the. It'll come to me. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, but uh, they were uh, there were some lovely crocodiles and uh, one of them was a hundred and one years I old know. and he had four wives with him. I know. Why would you want more than one wife? Well, obviously, it makes you live longer. I don't know about that. Must work for crocodiles. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we, we had we I, I really liked these crocodiles. So it was good. We'd seen a crocodile in the wild the day before. And now we saw these crocodiles in this like crocodile reservation for crocodiles which they breed and look after them and um, and some big tortoises we saw some big tortoises didn't we yeah and uh, then we had some slithering <laughs> snakes and they, we, were, they were they were weren't they were open though they weren't oh no they weren't open. they're in they, they had 20 um of the most poisonous snakes in africa um so they had some quite uh, not nasty creatures really um, and uh, there was some spectacular. They were spectacular. They're spectacular. Snakes. They were. Yes. Some of the there was this luminescent green snake, which um, was deadly. Uh, there was a black mamba there. Yeah. It was a baby black mamba. There was this big one that was a bit of a crusher, weren't it? Mm. Um, which it actually looked as if it had just eaten something because you could see the outline of some creature inside it. It was a bit, you know. <laughs> Um, yeah, a bit natural. A bit natural, I suppose. Um, and the guide, he was very, very uh, yeah. knowledgeable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just going back one moment, the they were telling when we when we had the dancers, we they were telling a story, weren't yes. they? They were telling the courtship story <laughs> of uh, how traditionally uh, a man would uh, capture. Um, the heart of a, a young uh, Zulu uh, girl and uh, how the courtship would proceed and then the the dance the dances that would take place as part of the marriage ritual and the betrothal ritual and uh, it was all exceedingly well done wasn't but it? first he had to go to the witch doctor which this yeah. at the moment is a woman yeah. can be a man a woman or a child and uh, she shakes the bones and tells him if it's a good marriage and how many children. Yeah. So that was um, uh, a lot of good fun, really, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. And and then you could look around uh, a reconstructed Zulu village. Uh, I thought their huts were really small. They were um, and and very basic, very very basic, mm. uh, very simple and uh, set out. So um, then uh, we even bought some t-shirts, didn't we? We did. In the shop <laughs> afterwards. Excuse me. Uh, so we're all uh, not quite a nice, pleasant uh, yeah. little run. And then we got back, got back. We were, four, we were an hour there, two, two hours spent there, and then an hour journey back. And um, then we had a pleasant journey back, yeah. uh, going through Durban, didn't we, as yeah. well? And then we had to come through immigration. Now, do not worry if you, and you have to do this a lot. If you 
traveling through different mm. countries you have to do it quite often and it's really simple do not be anxious uh, you've got to show your passports you have a form that either has been pre-filled in for you as yesterday's was or like to tomorrow day after tomorrow uh, it hasn't we had to fill it in but it's very very simple and so you just rock up with these things and you just stamped and and they were they were really organised. Really organised. Uh, very organised terminal security was. Uh, we had all our baggage scanned. Very well organised. Yeah. Um, and then you go through passport control again. Very well organised. Uh, it was silky smooth. Yeah. So don't Didn't if you, take too long. No. So if you hear people saying, "Oh, you have to go through this and the immigration," yeah, you do. But it's really nothing. It's, it's absolutely nothing to worry about. And and the other thing to note is if you've got a disability. Um, or you're not very good with walking and stuff like that. Um, they, they watch out for you. They, they're looking out for yeah. you, and they specifically come and help you yeah. and and move things out of the way yeah. so you can you can cut through the line so you haven't got a queue. Yeah. So as soon as they see you, if you're in a wheelchair or on a buggy or something like that, uh, they'll immediately yeah. come to your assistance and and guide very you through. Helpful. You, you jump, you skip the line basically. Yeah, very so, helpful. So really, well. and and we've seen a lot of that in yes, South we Africa. Yes, South Africa yeah. are very, because uh, mm -hmm. I'm a bit wobbly getting down bus steps, and immediately somebody will be there yeah. in restaurants. Somebody is there, so they are very very kind. Yeah, helpful. So we were back on. Um, the, the, the ship um, ready for uh, leaving at around, uh, I think we were supposed to leave. Was it three? Three. Yeah. Uh, but we had a bit of a delay because we had very strange windy conditions and uh, there was a chance that uh, if we left in the wind, we the, the, the ship might go over on one side because it's very one-sided wind. So we had to have a couple of tugs to uh, keep us upright um, as we were leaving. So they were on one side, balancing us uh, with their winches and everything. So that was really interesting. And then once we got out so far, um, normally uh, when you're exiting or entering a port, you have somebody from the port come on the ship called a pilot. And they have local knowledge of the waters and everything to guide the ship captain. Um, while we're entering or exiting the port. And, oh, but the, and they always say the, sh the ship's captain is always in charge. Yes. The pilot is just to assist. Yeah. The captain always has yeah. final, de yeah. final decision. Yeah. Um, but yesterday, um, the pilot um, off got off the ship by helicopter. <laughs> What they do is they leap across from the, the <laughs> ship to the pilot's board. Or sometimes down a ladder. Or sometimes down a ladder. And it always looks a bit precarious. <laughs> well, yesterday, for whatever reason in this port, they uh, exit by helicopter. So we have this helicopter above us all the time, guiding the ship out of port. And then when we just get uh, almost out at sea, the helicopter <laughs> comes up. Uh, across the aft of the ship and picks up the pilot winches him and winches him off it was all very exciting <laughs> um and uh, it re it really were yeah, it was it was you know, exciting, it's yeah. it's i've never seen it before <laughs> i've never seen helicopter pilots before for ships so it was a bit of a moment mm. and got some nice films so mm. uh, i will uh, drop that in for you to see it uh, all quite an adventure really yeah and then we we set off and uh, off onto the wild seas. And now, not too wild. And now we've got two days at sea yeah. uh, until we get to Namibia. Namibia. Yeah. Luderitz in Namibia. So we're looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. So for now, it's a bye bye from me. And it's a bye bye from him. Him. Here. It. Whatever. So. <laughs>